two uh, other students joining us. Neeraj joins us, mm, as does Surbhi. I'd like to thank you both very much for being with us. Neeraj, is this a big financial hit for you? Seventeen fifty pounds. Nobody really expected this a few months back. Definitely, definitely, sir. I mean, uh, when we started looking at uh, the funding options for the program, uh, my offer was something that I had deferred from last year. uh because of the pandemic and this year uh, i applied to a bunch of scholarships which uh, really didn't work out uh so i had to work on personal finances and the quarantine cost was something that i didn't realize until the very end um and the cost is something that came as a uh, particularly as, as a surprise uh, to a lot of us because uh, you know some we thought that uh the uk government or the university would be subsidizing something like this uh, especially for students who are not vaccinated uh i in my personal case i made sure that both my shots for the covid shield vaccines uh were covered um in spite of that uh i mean we have to quarantine for 10 days and that's something that's uh quite shocking especially because you know uh eu and uh, us citizens who enter the uk with the same vaccine do not uh have the same conditions right so that's something that's particularly shocking Now, Surbi, you've come down from Jaipur, I believe, to get your your tuberculosis test done. That's mandatory. It's always been the case yeah. to get us a, a a docket to a a, a vignette, as it's known, to enter the United Kingdom. That's part of the process. And apart from the amount that you might have to spend on this quarantine, uh, Surbi, there is also a very substantial health surcharge, uh, which is almost a couple of lakhs, which you're also paying, right? And that accounts for COVID. So. it's gone up massively right yeah uh so again uh, i think i agree with what the other panelist has said before uh when we started looking at uk programs we did not expect such costs even the health surcharge that we are paying is kind of unfair because it does not include a lot of prescription medicines and a lot of basic health need uh, in that level it's very superficial uh, it does not include dental procedures uh and few other things so basically i'll have to shell out my own money for the health anyway it is as of now including covid but seeing how the rules are changing left right and center uh, i think a concern of the student also is that if the situation in uk goes down even a little bit that the health surcharge may not cover even the covid thing which is again thinking in uh, of the future the cost is just increasing too much coming to the quarantine thing i think Uh, another problem with quarantine not just the cost is the isolation that we'll have to face in a new country yeah. uh, being all alone uh, 10 days in a room i think also would you be able to quarantine with a friend uh, or somebody you know or uh, would you should be you know be quarantining alone uh, as of now i think i'll be quarantining alone i haven't made arrangements That's difficult. with a friend that stuff uh, that is very tough because i have been in quarantine before and and i think uh, you can just go very mad when you are when alone. were you in quarantine before uh i i uh, my university had called us started calling uh, students back in batches so we had to quarantine in our university and that got extended because someone got covid on my floor so it was for 19 days i was in quarantine so oh, i know please. how that feels oh, that that's difficult <laughs> Neeraj, uh, would would you have a friend uh, that you'd go with, um, or, or you know, get hold of a friend and quarantine with them, bring down the costs possibly, and and perhaps bring down your boredom as well. So uh, the problem is this with me personally because of uh, certain scholarship decisions that were delayed. Uh, I started my loan processes and my financial options quite late. Uh, my friends and peers who are moving to the UK are moving next month. My right. my uh, process would take additionally a week or so. so i'm not really going during the period when everyone everyone else is going um i have limited options of people i can quarantine with i'm open to that idea however i still haven't figured out who i'm going to quarantine with i would rather prefer quarantining with a person uh but as i saw the earlier panelists from the show and i was horrified uh with the kind of descriptions they were giving about the room so i thought you know uh, it's better to find someone and then quarantine myself for 10 days uh, neeraj it so, has to uh, be yeah. said that she did say that she had three pizzas today so perhaps it wasn't that bad <laughs> but That's apparently there was salad expected. served with some other salad the previous day or something oh, like yeah. that look i'd like to thank you all very much uh, for being a part of this program